So before we get going with today's video, I had a little issue with YouTube that I wanted to share with you. I had heard this from a couple of other people, but hadn't really experienced it myself. I noticed that I was not getting notifications from a number of the people I subscribe to when they put out new videos. So I went into my settings and started checking that and I discovered that well over half of the people that I subscribe to, the notification had been changed to custom, which meant I wasn't getting anything. So I had to go back in and change it back to all. And I had even been unsubscribed to two channels, which was quite a surprise. I don't know why this is happening, but it is happening. I've heard it from a couple of people now. So if you're noticing that you're missing getting notifications, go in and check that setting and make sure that you do have notifications turned on to all. All right, let's get on to the video. Today we're tackling a common challenge many of us face, and that's brush along the fence line. The problem here is compounded by the fact that we're going to be working right alongside the road to do this. Let's dive into this and see how we can clear out this mess and improve the aesthetics of the homestead and work safely at the same time. Good morning YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we're alongside this gravel road here and we're going to be working at trying to clear up the mess along this fence line. It says it's badly overgrown and there's a lot of stuff that's dropped out of this one particular pine tree. So we are right alongside the road so we've really got to be careful here which is why I did not bring the tractor with the chipper on it and just grind things in place because it's just too big of a piece of equipment and it's gonna to be too much out on the road. So I've got my slow moving sign up on the back of my trailer. I've got a cone up there at the top of the hill and that is the part that concerns me most is the top of this hill. People come up and over the hill and not know I'm here until they're on top of the hill. So we'll just have to be careful, keep our ears open and really pay attention to the traffic. Of course, back here, Traffic is pretty uncommon, but you never know. All right, let's get our gear out and start cleaning this up. So we'll start here in this area. This is where it's the worst. Uh, so I've got my trusty little freshly sharpened DeWalt chainsaw with us. So I'll cut up the big stuff first, load it into the trailer, and then start clearing up the smaller stuff. Now at some point in time, I am going to have to probably come out with the uh, brush blade on my newly repaired trimmer. And that will help clean a lot of this stuff up fairly quickly. So this video will be a couple of parts long because it is an awful lot of work, but we're gonna put you guys in the time-lapse here and see how far we can get, hopefully before the rain shows up again. All right, folks, we have got our first trailer load here and it's already starting to look a lot better. 
And a lot of these shrubs here that are in front of the old fence will get taken down as well. Now I want to, I don't want to restore the fence, uh, put it back up kind of thing in places where it's badly fallen down because I do like the looks of it. And uh, I don't want to take away from that, but we've got to start. Uh, let's get this first trailer load up to our uh, sawmill camp. That's where we're going to be dumping it, and that's where we will set up the uh, Woodland Mills uh, chipper and grind through this stuff. But we've got a lot to gather up before that. All right, let's get moving. Well, there's trailer load number two. I think I need to take a rest and reapply the bug juice. The black flies are starting to get through. It's been a surprising amount of traffic today. So we're just getting into the thickest part of it now. Uh, but, you know, progress. I'm not going to be worried about anything on that side of the fence. I'm only doing this side for now. And, uh, We've got a pretty big section going so far. And I'm going to trim some branches out of that pine tree as well. Let's get rid of this load. We'll get some more bug juice and have a drink. Well, folks, we're coming along very nicely. It is hot work, but that's okay. This tree is going to be... Uh, bit of a pain to get rid of but we'll take care of it all right I think that's going to be it for today we're about to get rain so I'm going to head for it and we'll see you in the morning Well, that worked very nicely. We got three piles up here, ran it through the new wood chipper. It worked great. We got rid of this in no time at all. So that's going to be, I think, the way we'll work this. We'll get about three trailer loads, bring it up, dump it, and then take the time to grind it up, just so we don't end up with a mountain full of uh, brush up here. So let's get on the ATV, get back down there, and continue work on clearing that fence line. All right, folks, we have come out here with uh, slightly heavier equipment to take care of this uh, log here. 
I've got my uh, Husqvarna chainsaw with me uh, for this. So we'll just cut this up a bit, get it out of the way, and that's going to give us the room to be able to continue going up here. So let's get the chainsaw out and running and get rid of this. I think I'm just going to take the uh, pieces I cut off here and toss them over on the other side of the fence for now, just so they're out of the way. And we don't have to get too fancy with uh, dealing with them. All right, let's go. Well, that took care of that nice and easy. I think what we'll do is just uh, drive along the rest of the fence line here to make sure I don't need the big chainsaw for anything immediate. Uh, and whatever is there, we'll cut up. And then we can come back and continue brushing, continue clearing this stuff out now that that big log is out of the way. All right, it looks like there's just the one more here. We'll get it cut up and out of here. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. And if you have, don't forget to give it a like. And I'd really love to have you to subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any thoughts, questions, suggestions, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the work. Yeah. <laughs>
It's got everything clear of the fence line. Oh. <laughs> the pop shop. That's an old one. Wonder how many years ago that got thrown out here. I don't think these guys have existed for a long time. I need to start gathering stuff up again. So let's head back to the shop. We'll get rid of the heavy equipment. and get ready to uh, start filling the trailer again. Through the chain. It's a little bit of a tangled mess, but I think the chipper will take the tangle out of them. Yeah, this is going to take several passes without a doubt, but we'll slowly get it. It's already looking so much better. I've got to resist the urge to go over to the other side of the fence yet. I'm not ready for that. I want to get this side done first. So we'll try to stay focused on that. Well, that is by far the worst part, reasonably well cleaned up. So what do you folks do to clean along your fence line? Have you ever had to deal with a mess like this? If you have, how have you dealt with it? It's a, it's a challenge, but this hasn't been done for 30 plus years, I'm sure. And like I say, I, I'm not looking to make this fence fully functional. I just want to have it open again so that it's visible and give it kind of the antique look. Uh, so we're, we're making progress, I'm quite pleased. But I think that's going to be it for today's video uh, for part one of this. Stay tuned for part two. If you've got any comments or suggestions or anything like that, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. But for now, remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, 
and we will see you out on the trails the next time.